hello friends so today I'm going to just uh, unbox and do a few writing samples with my new Parker 2 of Fold International fountain pen so so the box looks like it's a very nice uh, fabric -y feel and you can retain the power package uh, and the pen inside it so if I open it up this is how you see the paint through that box window and this paper board talks about the heritage of Parker fountain pens and its tool for lineage then we have the leaflet or the manual that is So, there are lots of instructions and things like filling up the pen and all that then we have two ink cartridges and the converter came inside uh, the pen so let's put other things back and take out the fountain pen so this is how it looks like So I received this pen yesterday, so I have already inked it up, I'll be showing you how the pen looks. So this is the Parker 2 fold international fountain pen, so I will also do a size comparison. So if I hold this pen and then the Pelican M400 side by side you see so this is slightly longer than the pelican m400 basically the thickness barrel and barrel diameter seems to be exactly same uh, even if I uncap them I think they have the same length almost yeah so even the nibs are similar with a different logo on each pin so this is how it looks as compared to the Pelican M400 to give a idea about the international range of uh, dual fold and how the size varies if I look at this with a sailor standard it's almost the same length again the barrel diameter seems to be similar in fact the sailor one has a slightly larger diameter if I go to the section again the sailor has the sailor and a uh, door fold have a similar uh, section I would say if you look so that's for the size comparison if I let's go and have a closer look okay so now looking at the feed uh, this says F so it basically tells the type of the feed, type of the nib so F is uh, there's a fine one it's a plastic feed with uh, no fins uh, practically so this is a different uh, type of feed I would say but works really great as for the nib this is a solid 18 karat gold nib uh, it's a two-tone nib uh, with the golden ace of spades placed nicely in the middle of the nib with this bedding hole in the center and it says duo fold and then parker and then 18k 750 so this is a very very rigid nib so you don't uh, expect any flexibility or flex lines out of it uh, you can try to stress it a bit but again right, it's not made for that so basically it's uh, for a very speedy writing or uh, 
comfortable writing as is so that's how this nib is so let me open the to look at the section okay so here again uh, in this class it's written France and on the other side uh, perhaps it's a some part of a serial number I presume yeah. so here we have a serial number for the pin and on the other side it says uh, France. So it's uh, be manufactured in France. So another lovely feature I really like about the Spain and also you know matches with the vintage door front line of pens is this uh, writing or the engraving on the barrel and it says uh, it has the name of uh, Geoffrey Parker and then it has the model name to a fold Parker pen and finally it has the engraving called fountain pen so this is something uh, which I really like about this pen okay so for the writing sample so so I prefer writing it unposted because posted it becomes really really long and try to write it in this way so you have a better look so this is the Parker to hold international And it has uh, 18 karat gold nib. So this is the if we try to flex it a bit. Uh, ideally, it's uniform horizontal and uh, vertical lines. It's practically not a flex nib. So. The nib is uh, excellently smooth. I would compare the smoothness with a Lamy 2K medium or with a Pelican uh, Sovereign uh, medium nib. So this pine nib is extremely smooth. The ink that I'm using here is the Monteverde Olivine. And this is a fantastic nib with uh, ink so the color I really like it so here if I now see the comparison with a pelican medium so this is a medium this is the line thickness this ink is basically diamine Wagner it's from the music series of diamine now if I look at the Japanese one so this is basically a sailor medium so if I write it here really so. standard so if you notice it's almost similar to the fine nib of duo fold rather the sailor is a bit thinner in thickness but anyway it's the ink that also matters so this one is a diamine and finally with a 
let me 2000 so this is the let me 2k Bauhaus one so it has a kind of maybe you won't recognize right now it's kind of a blue navy blue macrolone or a blue black macrolone here and this is an extra fine nib so this is the Lamy 2000 EF and the ink is Konpeki from Pilot Ido Shizuku series so if we see so these two are almost similar yeah so this is more I would say a fine European fine and if I see compare it with the uh, uh, Japanese medium Japanese medium is similar might be even a bit less in line thickness European extra fine is finer than this but again similar to the Japanese medium well so that's a uh, lot of features so thank you for watching uh, more or less this is my first impression so I really love my Paka 2 fold now and I'm going to write it for long so it's going to be my work for Spain maybe very soon thank you very much and have a good day bye